Pigeonhole. 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 When I was a kid, have I not told you this? When I was a kid, when I grew up, I wanted to either be a snowman or the moon. The thing is, the snowman position was more of a seasonal gig, and I just figured that being a moon might might be a little bit more sustainable. It really eclipsed the snowman opportunities, you know, as far as what I what I, you know, what I thought would be, you know, just a, something a little bit more tidal. What I remember saying was that when I grow up, I want to be the moon. My dad used to uh, put on an inauthentic accent and say, maybe one day you grow up to be president. And there was a lot of talk about what my sister's jobs would be, like maybe a doctor. I don't think she ever wanted to be a doctor or a translator. It never really occurred to me that I would have a professional existence, let alone what it would be. Well, I don't remember ever seeing anybody like me working in a job, so it never really occurred to me what I could be. Um, and I, I think that there's a certain degree to which I just didn't think that I could ever have a job. Because of how discouraging it was for most people to try and become an actor, um, I got the sense that as a disabled performer, it would be a non-starter as a career. Um, and I didn't really want to play the the sort of token evil character, the token disabled character. Um, so uh, I, I didn't really pursue professional acting. Hmm. When I wanted to be the moon, these were a few of the qualifications that I thought were being the moon. One was floating around, and the other was being in space. I think those were the two qualifications that really stood out to me about being the moon. Um, but I also don't think I really knew that much about the moon. You know, I think that that the snowman had a certain appeal. There was a sort of community, you know, people coming together to build the snowman. Um, and I, I just, I like that idea of, of bringing people together. And I sort of left the snowman course, um, I think really because, you know, you just stand there all day, just kind of waiting to melt. I, I like to move a little bit more. Well, some snowmen have smiles that are, you know, put on with coals, uh, but not the snowmen I knew. Most of them just had noses. <laughs> I have said that I am a world maker. Like that's a part of my performance work is to create worlds. And so perhaps in some way, rather than becoming the moon, I am making moons. Every episode is transcribed. Links, guest info, and transcripts are all at whoamitostopit.com, my disability arts blog. I'm Cheryl, and this, this is, is Pigeonhole. Pigeonhole. Pigeon Don't sit where society puts you. <laughs>